Welcome to RadioOnFire.com, home of sports talk with Pebbles, giving you sports from a woman's perspective. Now, here's your host, Pebbles. This is Sports Talk with Pebbles, and of course, I'm Pebbles. Um, <laughs> today, I'm going to talk, I'm going to be all, I'm going to say all over the place, because I'm, I'm going to talk about um, the Little League being... Um, handing out the little I don't know why they took the championship back from these children um, but I'm going to discuss that I'm going to also discuss <laughs> oh my gosh I don't know why Dwight Howard is grabbing penises but he is I'm going to discuss that he did I mean, I saw it. They slowed it down. Allegedly. It wasn't alleged. We saw it. We all saw it. You have video footage of this. I have video footage on all of my social media. So, therefore, if you are friends with me on Facebook, you can view it there. I just shared, reshared the post because I'm going to be talking about it. Um, it's also on my Instagram. So, that's pebbles underscore page. I mean, it, it's there. So, when you see it, comment on it and I'll... I'll read your comment <laughs> for the other people to hear. Um, of course, I'm going to wrap it up with the um, All-Star Weekend. And some of you were there. It would be nice if someone who was actually there in the atmosphere could call in or maybe even, you know, just comment on a post. But if you would like to call in, that number is 404-436-1277. Um, I definitely encourage your interaction with me. Whether you agree or disagree, um, we can still have a conversation. You know what I mean? Okay. Now, don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well as Tweets by Pebbles. And what you say? Easier said than done. What you said to disagree with you, we can still talk. We can. I can, I can always di- agree to so disagree. So you ain't going to yell at nobody, no callers or nothing. No, I might yell at you. I'm not going to yell at the call. It's like. Niggas <sighs> and purrs. Oh, my goodness. So, yes. Please do. Please interact in, in either way. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, when you do your, 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 of course, on Twitter, you have to add me. Um, or I won't know about it. Um, yeah, and don't forget, call in. So let's just get down onto this uh, first first topic, okay? And that'll be about the Little League being stripped of the championship. Now, to me, this is another example of um, adults who are, they take things to, to heart so much so that they're only concerned about winning for themselves and not for the children. They forget that it is really about the children. And <clears throat> apparently, the Little League Baseball has stripped the U.S. championship from the Chicago-based Jackie Robinson West and suspended its coaches. I'm sorry, coach, for violating a rule prohibiting the use of players who live outside of the geographic area. Basically, um, let's say, let me give an example. To I can only use where I'm from. I'm from Baltimore. So if you live in Park Heights, you can't go play down in Cherry Hill. That's all. Because they beefing. <laughs> Why nah, you beef? Just, I don't know. I'm not going. No, they're not beef. I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, listen, bottom line is, if you don't live in the same area and you put the kids on the same, I didn't know. You that know that, how they found out though, right? Somebody told. Somebody snitched. Yeah, but see, I was thinking like, um, I don't know how Pop Warner works in other states, but I remember when my sons were young enough to play in Pop Warner, they had a older but lighter thing where the kids could still play, even if they were older, they were lighter so they could play. But this is just all wrong. Like, they're not in the same area. Kind of like zone schools. Um, now they don't have zone schools. You can go to school wherever you want to go to school. But. That's so crazy. That goes to show you enrollment is down. Yes, that too. But, I mean, it says the team must vacate wins from 2014. Little League Baseball International Tournament. That's just not fair. And, I mean, and that's just me as a. I don't know if I'm speaking as a parent or. I don't know. It's just, it's hard. And I watch those little kids talk. And like he's like the the child said, you know, my our parents know that we're champs. You know, our supporters know. But I mean, is it their fault? 
Can they really fault the kids? I mean, you said yeah. yeah. They can fault the kids? What? Yes, bring the mic down. Talk into the mic, mister. All right, so it, it, they're not faulting the kids, but the kids have to share in the burden. I mean, but they, the still, they still but play. The, all they, this stuff doesn't even matter. So, <laughs> because here's the thing. The kids had that day. They put the trophy up. They dumped the Gatorade. They did all the things that you do when you win the championship. So now coming back later, okay. They can't take the memories that the kids have. And it's not, you know I mean, just giving a trophy to the other people. That we're, doesn't mean nothing yeah, either. But the we're kids speaking, is fine. We're, no, you're saying that they're fine. We're yeah. speaking from an adult perspective. And we understand that this is what happened. Children don't get that. Children don't get that. And that's why there were tears, I'm sure. And, you know, poor kids. I don't know. Comment your thoughts. Let me know what, what, what you think. Um, I mean, they should have did the investigating already. So, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, and I do know that now, and I'm sure in Baltimore, you have to have, you have to take your child. And I was upset that I had to do this. I had to take my son to the Department of Motor Vehicle and get him ID in order to play football because of things like this um, because you have to have proof of address your age and everything in order to play um, and pop more and so I don't know I don't know this is just so this is different I don't know the kids that's all my concern and and I'm speaking like that because I, I, even today today me my, my, myself I'm still I'm a part of a marching band and so are my children. And a lot of times, the adults mess up the things for the kids, whether it's a fight, unnecessary um, shade. <laughs> I mean, it's just unnecessary. And most of the time, it's the adults, and they forget that it's about the kids. So hopefully this coach learns his lesson, and honestly, maybe he should not be a coach again. Like, they shouldn't allow that because <laughs> – I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm awful. I would kids. want him coaching my kids because he's a winner. He got us a championship. Okay, so I'm going to disregard what he said because he doesn't have kids. <laughs> so he just like, you know, whatever. That's why he said the kids are all right. You don't know. No, they won't. They, they, they'll get over I it. I had a kid for 11 years. And if this <laughs> I, kid. I so hate when he says if, that. If this, <laughs> if this coach was my kid from 11 years uh, coach, <laughs> then I would be happy that we had a championship. Wait a minute. What? Stop saying that. Which which part? The whole I had a kid for eleven years. I did. I had a Please. kid for eleven years. Did do you go your to research? Games? Check it out. Yes, I did. Do you guys promote um, your book on my uh, show? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you are not the father. <laughs> it is available on Amazon.com, Barnes and Noble. Uh, Thank you for your support. So I will be I will be in here on the next Diamond K show to promote my own show. Yes, yes, well, you know, here's the thing. A lot of people don't some people say like, why did you make this book? Um oh and I goodness. made this book because <laughs> it was therapy for me and I also need to recoup some of the money that I spent. So <laughs> Oh my gosh. So <laughs> let's get right on back. Like, oh my gosh. I can't. I can't do it. So anyway, I'm gonna um, <laughs> I'm gonna go to the next topic because he just promoted his book and everything. Y'all make sure y'all get that book. Maybe maybe I can get a dollar or something. If you make sure you say you um purchased it, you know the reason you purchased it because you heard it right here on Sports Talk with Pebbles. That'll be great. Now. <laughs> I'm going to move on. You know, I, I kind of, I wanted to talk about this and then I didn't. And then I said, I don't want to rub anybody the wrong way. Okay. I want to say the right things. I don't want to be wrong in saying anything. But last week, I happened to see this video. I first saw it on Instagram. Okay. And I was a little confused. I kept replaying it like, wait a minute. Was this an accident? It was, it was it done on purpose? You know? So then I saw other things coming up. Other things. Like, wait a minute. What happened? So there's a video that I have posted on my both my Facebook 
and Instagram, you know, pebbles underscore page. Um, <laughs> it seems to be that Dwight Howard said, I cannot remember this gentleman's name that he sat next to, but he goes over. This, this is at a basketball game, okay? He goes over and sits down. And as he's sitting, he grabs this man's man's hood, okay? He grabbed his penis. He grabbed his whatever you want to call it, his wood, uh, whatever, speaking in a nice way without saying that, you know. Mm. He grabbed it. Um, he cannot, if you watch the video, if you haven't watched it, uh, you can follow me or YouTube. I don't know something, but I'm trying to tell you. He did it on purpose. It wasn't accidental. It was done. Have you seen it yet, Diamond K? At, at all? No, I, I have not seen it. Well, you know, check out, you know. Yeah, I, I'll check it out. No, 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 no. Right now. Because I, I want you to be able to. I'm okay, cool. But I, I'm, just, I'm just saying, you know, because, you know, we was talking about it off air, and you, was, you had, like, all these questions, like, you sure? Uh, very sure. He grabbed it. Yeah, that's crazy. On purpose. Was, was he with that guy? Um, Allegedly maybe, maybe that's his booth Did he thing. sit next to him? He sat next to him While oh. grabbing His penis Okay Okay Was, was <laughs> a girl right behind him? There is no girls around Okay Well that's easy that, that's, a, the, that's an easy fix The guy didn't say Oh whoa Come on He didn't jump up and He just made a little face Like at first It was like No I don't know But it, he's sitting down And the white is standing up so it almost looked like he's looking at the white penis. I don't know. Like, listen, I'm trying to tell you. I don't know. I had who's going too far? Oh no 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 no! Last week when I posted this, um, I was trying to get back to that original post, and um, Al commented and said that um, which is the DJ by the way. Anyway, he commented and, he, and I because I had to ask him like he was like this is suspect and I said so why are you saying that is it because the guy the, the white may be gay or is it because I, you know I don't know so he was like well no if he gay oh who who gives a f I mean who cares clean it up who cares but just like me I'm saying and Al is saying the same thing it was done on national television so can you explain this for whatever reason I haven't heard anything else about it but I want to know about it. Is that your boo? Is that your boo thing? Um, I'm not a homophobic. Is that your so, chick? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, so like I said, I'm not a homophobic. So I just want to know if you are because it was like so, you know. Listen, no, we're just not going to do any, you know, because somebody will say, why are you all in that business? Your business was on national television, and we saw you grab that man's wood. We saw you do it on purpose. We... Um, one somebody on social media slowed it down, did it in slow motion. So it's like you can see his hand open up, reach out and grab it. So it's like, yes, like you can see all of that. It wasn't an accident. But the white, I'm I'm telling you now, if you want to come out, um, I accept you. I don't I don't have a problem <laughs> with with um homosexuality. I don't have a problem with it. Somebody else may, but I don't care. That does that has nothing to do with me. Um, yeah, so <laughs> once again, um, I'm going to pull up some comments that um, people have made, and I'll read those when I come back, but right now I'm going to go to a quick break, and um, of course we'll continue to talk about the Little League and um, this possibly homosexual Dwight Howard. <clears throat> yes, you can say Pebble said it because I said it. And it is what it is. So we'll be right back. Do you have a business, product, or event that you need to promote to men and women ages 23 to 44? If so, Radio on Fire can help you do it with one of our promo packages. Our broadcasts reach over 150,000 people per month. Sponsorship for one or all of our radio programs can include live mentions, social media posting, commercials, and more. Visit RadioOnFire.com slash advertise to find out more about a promo package that fits your needs. Rates start as low as $50. If you want to reach men and women ages 23 to 44, 
Log on now. RadioOnFire.com. Okay, welcome back to Sports Talk with Pebbles. And of course, I am Pebbles, and I am joined today by Diamond K, who's jumping in and out on the conversation. You know. <laughs> okay, now once again, um, you can interact with me on in more than one way. Um, Instagram is Pebbles underscore page. Some of you are already my Facebook friend. Um, you can also... I do have a like page over there. It's Ms. Pebbles, M-Z Pebbles. So go on over there and like Pebbles. Um, Also, you know, um, Radio on Fire is now on Instagram. So check us out on Instagram. You can follow all the shows that happen over here on Radio on Fire. Just go and turn that blue to green, as they say. (laughs) That's what they say on Instagram. Um, you can get me also on Twitter, Tweets by Pebbles. And did I cover everything? I think I did. Um, oh, you can call in. Call in with your, your thoughts, your opinion, especially about this. Um, I'm going to say the little the little D, Jackie Robinson West. We <laughs> what, what do you want to say, Mr. Diamond K, please? I mean, y- you said that I'm speaking uh, as an adult without children. And I think you're being oversensitive as an adult with children. Well, you, you oh yeah. Well, um, no, I'm not. <laughs> and um, you know, we already had this discussion. You know me; I can agree to disagree. We disagree on that. Yeah. And that's fine. Yeah, it's all good. You know, that's fine. Uh huh. But they'll win another championship. Yeah. I'm sure. Maybe. They will. See, look at you. Maybe not with some kids from in their neighborhood. Oh Maybe goodness. kids in their neighborhood. Sorry. Man, you know, you know what would, so would be crazy? You know what would be crazy? If so the kids who were from another neighborhood didn't even contribute to the victory. And they end up losing just because. Because they were on the roster. Right. That's all that counts. Right, those niggas could have been riding the bench. See, <laughs> did y'all? It could have been. been. Yeah! Just call them. Well, okay. I mean, mulattoes. I mean, <coughs> so I don't anyway, know. You said they were from South Side of Chicago, right? The, Those yeah. niggas is riding the fish. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He just called the kids neck. From South Side of Chicago? <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. We will not be using the N-word. Okay. Over here. Ninjas. Ninja. So, anyway. <laughs> so, anyway. We're going to move on to some um, interesting um I keep forgetting that you're up there. Okay. All right. Um, Some interesting news, you know. I didn't expect it to be that way, but um, the charges have been dismissed against a Cleveland Browns fan who was accused of urinating on the grave of the late Ravens owner, Art Modell. Why? Somebody did that? Yeah. I don't know where he was, but yes. It definitely happened. He dressed up with a um, Ed Reed jersey on. Yes. And um, it was found out because somebody had um, recorded him. And it was found on um, online. And he had on an Ed Reed jersey. He, um, he pulls it off to reveal a, brown, a Browns jersey, number 77. And apparently urinates on the grave out of the bottom of his pants leg using a catheter. Right. Now he's 62 years old. Okay. And and from Ohio. Wow. Right. So I he was <laughs> he was charged with disorderly conduct and <clears throat> excuse me, I'm coming down with a cold, I think. I don't know. But anyway, he's um he was charged with disorderly conduct in Pikesville, Maryland. Now <clears throat> For whatever reason, it was on YouTube. Somebody recorded it. Instead of stopping them, it was recorded. And it was on YouTube over the summer. Do you re- it, is it clicking now? Okay. So um, apparently, David Modell has talked to Mr. Sir Boo. Or I don't even, he's disrespectful. I don't even want to say his name, but I'm going to call him the catheter man. He, um, <laughs> He talked to David Modell, and apparently he does not want to 
pursue the charges. He's decided that, you know, it's whatever. He, They can't say what's wrong with the guy that actually did the urinating, but um, apparently there's some mental issues there, and they've decided that um, they didn't want to press any. You know, press it any further. So the, the charges were dropped. Now, he did face up to two years in jail and a $500 fine. Um, that's just a little update for some people who really cared, you know. Hey, I believe I've um, discussed that a little bit. Um, now, I do have a a comment from someone who would like to remain anonymous who says that... Um, the words that they used. Um, Dwight Howard is gay as shit for grabbing that man's wood. I'm not going to say that word. I'll say shit, but I won't say <laughs> that part. But, yeah, he's he's saying that he's gay as shit for doing that. Um, uh, he furthermore calls him a faggy. But I see why you want to be anonymous Clean this up. I can't repeat those type of things. They're not they're not cool, but um yeah, he I'm I'm not I can't confirm that he's gay. Uh but I can say that was wow. And he knew he was doing it, so now I agree with you a little bit. Um okay. Kim says what? Kim says, okay, maybe it was a joke. Maybe it looked like the guy wasn't too upset about it, so maybe he knew it was a joke. Fellas, please help me. Is that how you joke with your homeboy? I, I don't know, Kim. I'm going to have to um, disagree with that because my man cannot joke with another man by grabbing his penis. That is unacceptable and nasty. Um, now, it's not nasty if that's, if that's your man. Then grab your man's penis. But you don't just go around grabbing on men. That is not cool. Like, I think he's gay. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> I just I just have another comment. It just came up. And um, Ronnie says, that shit was on purpose. I knew he was soft, but damn, not that soft. So um, <laughs> um, I didn't know the man was soft at all. I mean... Wow, I didn't think, I didn't think something like that would happen, but something is going on there from me watching and me having gay friends, even a gay relative or two or three. Um, <laughs> the guy didn't get upset. He didn't get upset. You know, he moved a little bit. It was a little discomfort, but he enjoyed it evidently. At least that's what it looked like to me. It wasn't a, um, you know, get the hell off of me or jump up ready to fight, you know, um, if you don't like it, I would assume that that's what you would do. But, hey, it is what it is. Um, <laughs> once again, you can um, comment in either way. You can comment on my Facebook if we're friends, Instagram, Pebbles underscore page, and on Twitter at Tweets by Pebbles. And um, comment on the post. Um Inboxes and DMs I'm not checking for. So do it on the post so I can read from the post, please, and thank you. I appreciate every, all of my listeners and everything. Yeah, she ain't checking DMs. What would you say? Yes, I'm not checking DMs, and I see three of them, and I'm not checking them. So, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, let me stop back. <laughs> you trying to take me there. So... <clears throat> That, that's just, you know, the other things were just like updates, so I'm just going to skip on over to the All-Star Weekend, okay? Um, definitely, if you were there, I would love to hear um, some some things that would happen up there. If you was at the game, um, you know, at the game, I didn't really, I watched the game, but I didn't watch the game. Did you watch the game at all, Diamond No? Oh. The All-Star Game. Why? Oh, you were... Oh, is that the show's going on? Right? Okay. Gotcha. But I did enjoy other aspects other than the game. Okay. I love 
I love, 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 love. Have to tune in whenever there's a dunk, slam dunk contest. I have to pay attention to that. So we're going to run through a few of those. Um, with, the, with the first thing being um, what I had a problem with, um, you said it was new this year, and you're right. Um, but the players being able to hear, yeah, I said you're right. You never get that from me. It's the first time you was right in your life. So <laughs> the, um, the players being able to hear the commentators, I had a problem with that. Now, I don't know if anyone else had a problem with that, but I had a problem with that because it seemed like it threw them off. Oh, he's found his rhythm. He's found his rhythm, and then now – He's not making the shots. Like, I think it. I think they should just switch it back. They shouldn't be able to hear him. What do you think, sir? Sitting over there. Yeah. Um. You know, I. I think that probably they need to get used to it because at the end of the day, it's about the fans, and that. People being able to hear the commentators, they really did that for the fans, and they just need to tune it out. It's just like if somebody's in the front row and it's like, you know, you suck. I mean, you know, it's just you got to tune it out. So you, you really think it was done for the fans? Yeah, because, it's, you know, it's so much time that they got to sit there and it's just like silence. And, you know, they pay big money for them tickets, and so the commentators need to, yeah, they need to hear the commentators. I don't know. Listen. I mean, I don't, like I'm watching, I don't like watching NFL football games live in the stadium as much as I do at home because I can't hear the commentators. Well, that's I, I, I'm, I'm just saying it breaks their concentration. That's what it looked like to me. Yeah, it's good. Um, it gives no excuse, though, man. No, no excuse. I just saw – I mean, I'm sitting home. I'm not playing. No, I'm saying – I'm a fan. Better, I, I would have did better if I didn't hear the commentators. Oh, my goodness. You only beat me because, you know, commentators. So, anyway – I'm not I'm not <laughs> I'm not doing this with you. Anyway, let me let me run this down a little bit. Team Bosch wins the shooting stars again this year, which made a three peat, you know, third year in a row. Um and on that team it was Chris Chris Bosch, of course, um, Swin Cash and Dominique Wilkins. Now it took them a minute to make that half court shot and who made it only the one and only Dominique Wilkins. That man is old. <laughs> just, that man is old. But anyway, um, what, what was after that? The skills contest. To me, you know, once once we once we passed that, it almost seemed like it was the. Um, no, 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 no. I'm not I'm not gonna say that. If I was gonna say the light skin, the light skin <laughs> niggas is back. That's what I say when I was watching it because I thought I thought I didn't think it was gonna go the way that it went. Um, but the, you know who you know I thought no I can't say that, and I'm, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say what I thought because it won't yeah I won't go there. But anyway, um, we all well some don't know but yes, Stephen Curry won the three point shootout. Um, Clearly, it looked like. To, I mean, I already was going with him anyway, but he did have a um, a run for his money. You know, um, for those who don't know, he's from the Warriors, and um, he won. Of course, I I posted that too. If you're following me on either one of my social medias, I see messages popping up. I'll get to those in a second. Um. Okay. Well, also now. I would love to hear who you guys thought should have won the slam dunk contest. I believe the person who won, Zach Levine, I think he should have won. Um, I know where I was, as loud as I was. I'm, like I said, I love a slam dunk contest. And um, some people, like Mason Plumley, like, why was he in it? Like, he could really just, like, reach up and nothing he did was impressive to me I'm sorry um, I don't know how he ended up with a 40 I don't know do you know no you don't know 
I don't know how he ended up with, <laughs> with that, but I wasn't impressed. Were you uh, impressed with the slam dunk contest? Um, that's what I'm talking about, the slam dunk contest. But I'm talking about Mason Plumley. I wasn't impressed with what he did at all. And um, a tenor Kupo, <laughs> why? I wasn't impressed with him either. Like, this is a slam dunk contest. You have to do something that not only gets the crowd, you have to wow the judges. And I just wasn't impressed with either one of them. So um, definitely, you know, congrats to all the winners. Definitely congrats to them. But Zach Levine, wow. I was definitely impressed. Um, I didn't understand why I was taking some people so long to put up them tens, but around. Yeah. I wish I had some footage I could throw on right now so y'all could see it, but I don't have any footage. All I have is minutes. <laughs> yeah, so um, I'm getting messages left and right. I don't know which one to check. But um, yeah, let me know what, what you were impressed with. Who dunked did you think, you know, who, who do you think should have won? Um, who sh who should have been in the slam dunk contest? I'm hearing that Wiggins sh could have been in the contest. Um, I haven't really paid him any attention to say, yeah, maybe he should have. Um, yeah, but I'm with I'm with Zach Levine anyway. So when I saw, I was like, oh, he's in it. Oh, he's gonna win this. He's gonna take this. Um, I had a, someone disagree with me. I don't remember who it was, but anyway. Um, Y'all give me some highlights of the All-Star game. Because like I said, I watched, but I didn't watch. Watched a little bit. I mean, it was like, uh, whatever. But Russell Westbrook did win the MVP. He scored 41 points. Um, to me, the All-Star game is like um, the Pro Bowl. Nobody wants to get hurt. You know, uh-uh. <laughs> Nobody wants to get hurt. It's like, you know. It's all right. It's, it's cool. I don't know. So I'm going to read another comment. I'm going to it because um, she keep having a fit. Okay. Everybody wants to talk about the man grabbing the penis. <clears throat> and apparently, Miss Anonymous says, He's gay. When is he going to come out the closet? <laughs> um, that's a question for him because I don't know if he's gay. This has man law violation all over it. And apparently he can be. He might be. That might be his boo thing. But I don't know when he's going to come out the closet or if he's going to come out the closet. Now, let me backtrack again to the the Little League and, okay. Okay, well, I'm just going to read this inbox because somebody's just steady going. Why? I don't know. I asked the, okay. She's saying that it's nobody's fault but the coach. And the kids need to suck it up, <laughs> suck it up, and try again next year. That's just so harsh for some kids, okay? Of course, they're going to have to, you know, deal with it and, you know, try again next year. But I'm not telling the kids to suck it up, cry your eyes, you know, wipe your tears and, you know, whatever. No, that's evil. Just, you know, the coach, I would suggest the coach not play. I mean, not coach anymore, not play. I mean, not coach. So he should lose his job? He's, it's not oh, a job. He's volunteering. Come on. Yeah, that's what I mean. He should lose his. Volunteer, you know I mean? right. Yeah. Yes. His son probably one of the kids on the team, too. Yeah, well, so what? You knew the kids wasn't from your district, your area, so you knew the rules, and the kids playing did not know the rules. Their parents knew the rules. Maybe they did, and maybe they didn't. I've been a team mom. I've been a team mom and had, they had no clue. I made sure the kids had what they needed to play, but I did not, and I organized fundraisers, but I did not know all of the rules to the game. You know, of, you know what way they can play. I did know about older, older but lighter. 
they could play. I didn't know about that. Um, yeah, I did. <laughs> but I didn't know all of, you know, if you don't live on um, this side of Baltimore Street, then you can't play. No, I didn't know any of that. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it is what it is. You know, I'm not going to say they need to suck it up, but they do, you know. Y'all just try next year. Yeah, well, I mean, y'all just try next year, you know. Like you said, like the like the little boy said, you know, our parents know we're champions. The people who follow us know that we're champions. Our coaches, you know, we know. So they're good, right? At least I hope they are. And um, they're still champions. They're just champions without the trophy. Yes, yes. We're all winners. They beat them. That is that is a fact. Um, and the, 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 the other team are champions by default. <laughs> by default. So you're not really champions. I'm sorry. I'm not saying that to the children. That's directed to the, the staff, the adults. But um, let's talk about other things, you guys. Let's not stay on Dwight Howard. If he's gay, he's gay. He's not ready to tell us. He's going to come out sooner or later. Yes, I need you to watch that video. Everybody, if you haven't seen it, go to my um, Instagram. Like everybody. Yes, everybody. Because it, <clears throat> it seems like the, I haven't read certain comments because you haven't seen the video. Because if you've seen it, you wouldn't say that. Like, was it an accident? It couldn't have been an accident. Because he actually grabbed it. Slow motion, you will see it. I reposted all of that, like, for people to see. Like, he actually opened his hand and grabbed, like. And it wasn't too discreet. Like, you're at a game where there's cameras, Mr. Dwight Howard, you penis grabbing. Anyway, so, yes, um, <laughs> I'm not going to keep repeating myself on these topics. Um, yeah. So, I discussed everything from. The Little League to y'all y'all man, Dwight Howard, grabbing penis. <laughs> to the man who pissing on Art Modell's grave, he gets off because he evidently is crazy. You know, his charges was dropped. But speaking of charges being dropped, Greg Anthony, um, his, his charges was dropped. I spoke about him last week, um, the basketball analyst who was um, soliciting a prostitute. That, and let me tell you something. That's why you should not just fire somebody off the bat like they did to your man, your homeboy. My homeboy. Allegedly, who won, he allegedly said, had the two. Yeah, did a lot. Yeah. He but did a lot, But though. here's the thing. This man is found innocent. Nobody said he was found innocent. So charges dropped. Found he wasn't convicted, so he keeps his job. Now, if Warren Sapp is not convicted, are they gonna give him his job back? Probably not. Well, once again, like we discussed when we discussed about Warren Sapp, the difference in these two cases are yes, they were both trying to get well, Warren Sapp got his prostitute, but um, oh no, he had him, they were in the room. Um, the difference with these is. Greg Anthony doesn't have an assault charge, and Warren Sapp does. So um, at first I didn't agree with you, but I later agreed that the assault charge is probably what got him fired and not the prostitution yeah, thing. Yeah. So, I mean. But, but the fact remains, the question remains rather, if he's found, if, if charges are dropped, all the charges are dropped, do you think he would deserve his job back? Yeah. And see, another thing that makes this with Greg Anthony different is that this was a sting. Like, he was... Like he, they set him up. Well, not him. It was a setup for whomever was trying to solicitate, you know, the damn prostitutes. They set it up. So, um, you, was, you were never going to get a prostitute. It was set up for you to get the authorities and they come out and arrest you. Kind of like... Um, how to catch a predator <laughs> that comes on TV, you know. So it was basically the same thing. So um, I don't know what made them drop the charges. Um, 
It said a, a court document describing the arrest says he responded to an escort and authorities had placed. Now, wow, it was on back page. So y'all fellas beware going on that back page mess. I never even heard of it until I started looking into this story. So um, what, apparent, what apparently he said he arranged a date with the undercover officer. When Anthony met the undercover officer at the hotel room, she told him she would charge him $80 for intercourse. That's what the document says. He's like, oh, I got that. I got that. Yeah, I oh, got yeah. That. He probably said, I'll pay you 160 if you do a little extra. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, um, I think, yeah. So, um, yeah. Anyway, after he was suspended, he, you know, he apologized and all of that. So that, is, you know, that is what it is. Um, his charges was dropped. And Warren Sapp is still ass out. <laughs> Warren Sapp is still done. He will, I, I don't see him returning, although Diamond K has asked, do you think, you know, that it sh he should? Now, um, I'm going to wrap things up really quick. Um, I'm going to squeeze in Carl Malone real quick, and then I'm going to get out of here. But um, it's funny to me that Carl Malone is still discussing anything as it relates to Kobe and his wife. Um, apparently, you know, some time back, um, something went down. So I'm going to break it down just really quick. Um, the Hall of Famer sat down with Mark Lamont Hill of Huffing, Huffington Post. Never heard of him. But anyway, they talked about, you know, a few things, but Kobe came up. And it says back in 2004 when Malone and Gary Payton came to the shack in Kobe's Laker, Lakers to ring hunting. Kobe and Malone had a little beef. Now, I can see Carl Malone hitting on Kobe's wife. Uh, but I don't know if you, I mean, was it really, did he really do it? Like. You know, sometimes people can misinterpret things, and it don't really be what they think it is, but he said that that's what it was. But as old as Carl Malone as is, somebody please help me out. Why is he saying the things that he's saying? If he's still mad with me today, listen, sir, sit your old ass down. Let that go. That was back in 2004, and we're in 2015. Let it go. He said he don't have beef with anybody. I don't feel no tension, but I'm a hunter, so what? Man, shut up. Just 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 shut up. Let it go. I I'm confused. I'm just okay. I'm just gonna leave it there before I say too much. Cause his old ass need to stop. He need to find somebody his age and stop trying to <sighs> Do you really want to go there with Kobe? Anyway, yes, I'm a Kobe fan, so I'm going, you know, maybe I'm going too far, taking that for Kobe. But anyway, somebody said they would like to see them two fight. Now, why? I don't know. Would you? That's not even interesting to me. I think that's an old man. Anyway, I want to thank everyone who commented. Um, even if I didn't read your comments, your vulgar <coughs> comment. Um, thank you for tuning in to Sports Talk with Pebbles. Um, once again, you can follow me on Instagram at Pebbles underscore page. I'm also on Twitter at Tweets by Pebbles. What? And Diamond K is being special at the moment. Um, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> yeah, so also don't forget to like my page on Facebook. Oh. It's Ms. With a Z, Pebbles. Oh. Also, like, he's playing entirely too much. Also, go to Instagram and like Radio on Fire. Word. You can also like Radio on Fire on Facebook. Word. See? Terrible. <laughs> I'm just going to get on out of here because he's playing entirely too much. Oh. So, until next time, peace.